Hi folks, welcome to Photo Tutorials. Uh, I'd just like to show you in this edition how do we put a, a nice uh, sepia vignette around the uh, sepia photograph which we're going to make out of a uh, colour photograph. Um, basically I showed you how to adjust the for the sepia um, in, a, in another tutorial. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to take our image here, which was shot in Beamish Museum, which is a nice setting for creating um, sepia toned uh, photographs. Just really takes it back to those days, I think. So we're just going to go to Image Adjust, and we're just going to go to Black and White. We'll click OK. We're not going to make any further adjustments on that. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go to Image Adjust, and we go to Color Balance to set the the tone for the sepia and what I'm going to do is I'm going to set 15 levels of red and green and I'm going to give the blue 45 levels of green sorry blue <laughs> 45 levels of blue sorry and what we do is we create like a nice diagonal curve like so, if we look at that before. I'll show you how to do this in an earlier tutorial. Um, so we go 15, 15, and basically what we do is we make sure that these two figures are a third of this final figure. So that's why we have the 45 in there. And as you can see, we have a nice sepia effect photograph there. Now, what we do is to get the sepia, um, we, we, use, we use this tool here. Um, we click on it. And you can see you have got different marquee tools. You've got the rectangular marquee, the elliptical marquee, the single row marquee, and the single column marquee. Well, the one we want to use for creating the the vignette is the rectangular marquee tool. And if you look down here, go to be the color palette down here. You can see the foreground color, which is this box here, and um, the box that sits. In front of this one, that's the that's the that represents your foreground box, and this one represents your background box. So it's your foreground color and your background color, and we can see our foreground color is already set to like a sepia color brown. So what we're going to do, I'm going to give this quite a, a wide border, so we can see how the sepia affects the image. And I'm, basically, it's a simple click and drag on the marquee tool till we get it something looking like that and leave it at that and basically what we do is we click delete but if we click delete now what happens is it fills the central part of that selection up like that and that's obviously what we don't want so what we need to do is we need to deselect that and we need to select the part of the front image that we want to adjust which is this part here where my black arrow is this is the selection what we need to need to adjust all around here all this around here around the edges what we're going to adjust and I'll show you how we do that so we undo that fill there and to jump from this selection to the selection around there what we're going to do is we're going to go on select an inverse and as you can see you get another set of marching ants so rather than this part of the image here being selected it's now being deselected and moved over to this selection and basically it's quite simply you just hit your keyboard delete on your keyboard and if you have a look it says use foreground color there's my foreground color it's just a matter of clicking ok and then what you do is you go back on your selection go into your photograph right click your mouse and deselect that selection and there you can see just enlarge that for you there you can see you've got like a lovely looking authentic image that really looks as though it's been uh, taken several years ago and if that's a little bit too strong for you just go to image adjust and go to saturation hue and saturation and what you can do you just take those levels as you can name it put it back to black and white but there'd be no point but uh, what you can just do is just muck around with that slider and have it as weak or you can have it as intense as you want but obviously you can just take that down uh, so that it suits you so I hope that's been a, a nice little 
exercise for you. Give it a try and on some of your colour photographs and see what you think. And I'd just like to thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.